Hi, I'm Joe Justice with the Agile Business Institute. In Agile hardware, each product coming in is tested to meet the definition of ready or ready to work. Then a small cross-functional self-organizing team adds value to each piece of work. Every item is potentially unique as they run different experiments. So every product is tested to meet the definition of done. Now, one product is branched to another area of the factory where another small co-located cross-functional team can try a very different value-added step, a very even different type of product. That product is then tested to meet the same or higher standard. And if it passes, that product is sold alongside the previous product. So in any given day, more than one type of product is built. And as long as they both meet the minimum advertised specification, they are both sold. Now, whichever product has the higher financial efficiency, the higher customer visible value, the higher ease of maintenance, whichever KPIs are critical at the time, it's encouraged to ramp, the production ramp. It is their job to now not just make one innovation, but to try to make three, four, five, or three, four, five hundred, if they can, in a day. So the same team that engaged in the innovation, the new product development, is now engaged in the new product introduction and production ramp. They've converted to production. Now, the previous lines then attempt to match and surpass any other innovation. It's now their turn to engage in radical innovation and then ramp again. In this way, on any given day, more than 10 versions of any given primary module are in production at the same time and sold alongside.